Right, excuse the wind. If you've seen me on the video, I've just been doing. So watch the other video um, to discuss a lot more in detail about the boat and how it goes up and everything. See the breeze has just dropped again all of a sudden. But uh, yeah, I wanted to bring you out, show you Rudyard. It's a beautiful spot. Again, we got I'm so lucky. We've got so many nice spots so close, and it's to Stoke on Trent ST13 postcode, uh, and it's absolutely glorious. So I'm gonna. Carry on paddling back because it's two and a half miles long. Been all the way down to that end. Now we've got to go back to where I started and the breeze is again to me. It's getting up again. I'm trying to stay on the right hand side. I don't know, is that leeward side? I don't know in boating terms because there's a bit of a headland and then I'm breaking out. It might keep me out of the main breeze, but you can tell us from when I came down, there's a lot of sailing boats out there, little dinghies. by the houses and that um, Victorian boat, I'll show you that and uh, I'll catch you in a bit so yeah hope you'll, hopefully you'll enjoy the 360 footage and uh, it is a glorious day on the Rudyard, thank you. Right, so we're just waiting to the boating lake, uh, past the boat house with all the sailors and the breeze just dropped completely red hot, I'll put some more sunblock on. This damn bloody life vest keeps rising up. But uh, there's a bit of a following. But it's beautiful. I'm just coming up to the Victorian boat house, so you can get a bit of 360 there. But uh, this is cracking. This is the life. 360 in the middle of Rudyard. I'm going to carry on paddling because I don't want this breeze to pull me all the way back. I've just battled through that. Breeze really got up. So I'm going over to the Victorian boat house. Pass there by the houses, give me a bit of 360 there. So onwards and onwards. Right, so I've come up around by the Victorian boat house, which again I did on the other video, but I'll give you a look around. Absolutely beautiful. What a cracking place. There's all kind of the geese to the left of me. Is it the starboard side? I don't know. I'm not a boat person. So I'm getting blown into the boat house, so I'm going to have to paddle on. Show you a bit more footage around by the houses in a minute or two. But yeah, there's the Victorian boat house. Amazing. Right. Now, a bit more difficult than 360, but these are all the big posh houses. Bit of video. These would have all been just little wooden shacks. Sorry about the wind. And then people literally bought the shacks for a lot of money, considering probably a couple hundred pounds, thousand pounds start with. We paid 80 grand for the shack, knocked them down, and then built houses worth a million pounds. The majority of these are holiday homes, I think. Even though I could be quite happy to live here. Enjoying this very malarkey, but going back would be nice on the motor because it's uh, the breeze keeps going against me because it, it's obviously it just funnels down this bit of a valley and uh, when it whips up the speed, do not make it difficult to row against. On that side over there, you've got where the train is, the steam train that comes down from the little there's a car park right at the end, and you can get the train down. But uh, I'm drifting again, so I'm going to have to carry on back. I'll keep stopping, giving you a bit of footage. But it's uh, it's been an amazing day. I put some block on, but I think I've burnt on my arms, even though they were brown to start with. So I think it's time to go back and 
have a cappuccino. So I'll uh, catch you in 360 at the far end. So, so I do hope you're enjoying it. I do try and come out. I enjoy it obviously, but show you places that of interest. What I'm going to start doing is um, places I went as a child. I'm going to start doing a series on that uh, and explaining what we did and everything. You know, we've all got a devil's drop and a brook and things, but I want to show you. A lot of it's gone, but I want to capture what's left. So that's what we're going to do project. Right, I'm going to carry on paddling. My arms are killing me. But uh, hey, oh, see you in a minute. Uh, it's almost back now. I'm going to try to get out the boat without falling out. It should be interesting. The road boats are up here. So yeah, I'm going to head back to the side, get myself out, grab a coffee. It's been a cracking day, my arms are killing me. Bloody good exercise. Right, so I'll catch you when I get back to the side. Thank you. Right, I'm back. I managed to get out. The puncture is getting out. You come up on these rocks here. Four miles per hour period will start soon. Next level. Right, back to the call. So this is where you can hire the rowing boats out. Cracking place, they're extending the cafe. You know, like a glass or breton thing built on the side of the canopy. My um, phone is talking to itself, it keeps on about workouts and won't switch itself off for some reason. That's an old boat. Look at that. It's really old. Up to reach 3.4 miles per hour. Ooh, fish in Work the water. Tiddlers. Right, so yeah, you've had a bit of 360 going across the lake. On me, me sphere. Going back to the car now. Try to sort my phone out. Work out is you. Work out is you. Full path to picnic area. Please note, this route is a short circular walk by the picnic area and returns you to this point. Beautiful. My phone has annoyed me so much. Ten pound for half an hour. Quite a bit of cost. Ninety quid. Do the maths. What's my value? It's a nice Royal Enfield. So dry. Dust storms. Right back to the car. Hope you enjoyed the 360. You look there, this, uh, this guy went to the tightrope over the lake. So they reenacted it two years ago, I believe. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. I'm back up and go home now. It's been good.
see you again next time. Stay safe. Thanks very much for watching.